look at that just look at it this is one of our favorite oriental perfumed lilies that um i think it's one called garden party lovely um hints of yellow and pink and bronze and white in the flowers but a very clear perfume and i've just dug that clump of bulbs out of the pot into which we originally planted about six bulbs and i've just got a mountain of bulbs out of it maybe 10 years later and there's still some more that i need to prise out of the compost join us now as we uh, as we kind of work out how to dig all those bulbs cram packed into a oddly shaped pot like that it's not easy but we've succeeded Hi, welcome back to uh, our garden in the, the middle of winter, but with some blue sky. That's a turnout for us here in Wales. Um, we don't often get that, but we're very happy to see our blue sky. Um, a bit chilly, it's about four or five degrees. And the birds are out. But we're actually looking at this here, which is one of our pots of lilies. Um, you will have seen in previous videos i might just show you a couple of photographs as we're looking at these empty pots of how they look in the summer and they're kind of bursting with lily bulbs that have been in there for six seven eight nine maybe even ten years some of the older ones i reckon this one has been in the pot for at least 10 years i say one there's about 30 or 40 stems come up every year and we felt that uh, it was about time we kind of dug this out and um, reduced the number of plants that are coming up in here because there's just too much. Uh, and we can probably um, probably get half the bulbs out of there and um, do some more pots with them or put them to good use somewhere else in our garden or in another garden. So the first thing I notice is that this is a curved pot can you see that there and that looks lovely and it's a very stable pot it's very hard to blow over because it's got that kind of wide wide bottom uh, whereas some of these kind of narrower bottom um, pots are you know when you get a really big tall plant in them can can blow over in the wind uh, this one here is very very heavy very very stable that's great when you've got a plant in it but when you want to try and get the plant out it's very difficult because it's wider here than it is at the rim so you can't slide the pot out that one there would slide out very easily turn it upside down it probably just drop out um, this one here we're gonna have to dig out now we've got to be a little bit careful how we do that because um, we don't want to be damaging the bulbs so I'm gonna right here we go I started uh, started digging out some clumps of um, soil compost and uh, straight away we're coming across loads of bulbs quite a few of them are kind of splitting splitting down into kind of half bulbs and scales but you can make new bulbs new plants from them that might be a project up at the school and here's a decent sized clump that i've just kind of prized out <laughs> and you can see that it's just crammed look at that crammed full of bulb my goodness me look at this some slight damage there but i think these will be fine and like do you know what? I'm going to revise my estimate. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to get 60 or 70, maybe more bulbs out of this. We've got a long way to go yet. <laughs> now we're talking. That's what I call a lily bulb. <laughs> Getting a few more big ones now. <clears throat> and as we get more soil and compost out of the, um, uh, out of the pot, it becomes a, a little bit easier to kind of get the trowel around the side of the pot and dig them oh. there we go yeah. 77 78 79 oh. fantastic look at that this is going well now just got this final clump here to try and Rise apart. So many bulbs in this one. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that kind of hint of yellow on the outside of the bulb. And there's the the new growth starting there. Oh, you're going to be gorgeous in the summer. Look at them. It's absolutely cram packed. You can hardly prise them apart. There's so many in there. So this this job definitely needed doing. 
Well, there we go. <laughs> a mammoth, a mammoth crop of um, of lilies. If you think about the fact that we originally started with about um, five or six little bulbs that big in that pot, and now we've got well over a hundred of varying sizes uh, that have come out of it, including some little babbies. I did see. There we go. Look. Look at that, that kind of shows you how they, how they grow, how they develop. There's a, a flowering stem there with the roots underneath and you can see the little baby bulbs growing all the way around it. And the big original bulb kind of dropped off. It'll be one of these, one of these bad boys here. So if you've got any suggestions on what I could do with my spare lily bulbs, I'd be very interested to hear them. And of course, if you've got any questions or comments, we'd love to hear about your experiences, your successes, even your challenges with growing lilies in the ground or in pots. We'd love to hear about them. We love our lilies. Speak to you soon. Bye.